This is swell, but now if anyone wants to see your work, they have to download the dang thing, right? And run it on their computer. Wouldn't it be cool if this were actually hosted on the World Wide Web? I bet that's really hard. I mean, all our code's already up there on GitHub. It'd be nice if GitHub just offered a hosting service where it would turn your repo, where it would just, just host this thing. Guess what? They're way ahead of us. Enter GitHub pages. Pages.github.com will tell you all about it. Hosted directly from your GitHub repository. Just edit push and your changes are live. That sounds pretty easy. It can't be that easy. It just can't. Go to your person stats repository. This is another reason, by the way, that I pr would prefer that you put each project in a separate repository instead of have, having one big repository for uh, the entire boot camp. And see the settings tab? Yeah. Click the settings tab. Scroll down a bit. And you see GitHub Pages. GitHub Pages is designed to host your personal organizational project pages from a GitHub repository. Repository. Source? GitHub Pages is currently disabled. Select the source below to enable GitHub Pages. Okay. Uh, master branch? Save. Okay. Scroll down now. Your site is ready to be published at, and the URL will be your GitHub username dot GitHub dot IO slash the name of this repository. So go ahead and click that link, open it up, and you should see it running. Hooray. Now, let's make it really easy on people who stumble across your project. Go ahead and copy the URL, the live URL. Go back to the main page for your project. Just click on the project name up here. No description, website, or topics provided. Let's provide them. Click edit over here on the right. And paste in the website. You can put in a description too if you want. The first project for extern boot camp 2017 session three. Save. And there you go. Now the link is there. So people can not only browse your code, but they can actually see the thing running live, including people like us on Friday. But do this for yourself just so long as you do it. So GitHub pages couldn't be, couldn't be much easier. Uh, only works for static sites. You remember the first day we had our little diagram with the big question mark over here? And we said, who knows what's happening over there? That could be like running some giant Python application that happens to return some HTML. Well, as long as it's not doing that, in this case, we just ask for index HTML, we get index HTML back. It just pulls that file and gives it to us. So as long as that's all you're doing, GitHub Pages works great. So there you go. And it's free on all your repositories.